What's going on, guys? I get asked this question relatively frequently. So I thought, what the heck? Let's make a video on it. So real quick, I'm just going to show you guys what we got going on. Uh, but check out the video if you guys are interested in learning more about how to get started selling on eBay. See you soon. All right, guys, welcome to the mess. So first things first, I mean, if you get yourself a basic printer, this is a great place to start. Um, you actually don't need much more than a basic printer. Uh, for delivering packages, I just put them in a box like that. But if you want to step your game up, there are printers like this. A lot of this information, I'll, I'll put links in the description. So uh, this is a Rolo printer. It happens to be wireless. I like that because when I'm watching movies with the kids, the wife, I can actually print directly off of my cell phone. It's a little bit more money. I think a basic printer like that run you like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Um, this one's closer to 200. The nice thing though, regardless of any of that, uh, it prints with heat. So all you have to do is buy the, the special paper, which are like two cents, three cents a piece. They're real cheap. Uh, and it prints those out like nothing. Next thing you're gonna need some basic bubble mailers. Um, if you plan on doing a lot, I mean, you can buy a thousand bubble mailers for about 150. Again, links I'll put in the description. So pretty inexpensive. Anytime I get other stuff in, I just keep it in a box. Uh, it's an old bubble mailer box. So I just put stuff in like that. Uh, another thing you're going to need is boxes like this for storage. So I want to show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on. So we just put these in thanks to Philly. He helped me out a ton, but what I've got is boxes like this kind of a run and gun video so we'll do the best we can but when I post cards up on eBay they go right into here I created these kind of cool name slabs so I know that the Lonzo's are behind that the Zion's are behind that etc so these are a great way to go and if you want I don't know if you guys notice but sometimes at the end you know like say this is box one you could actually put B1 at the end of your ad. That way, uh, everything can be seen at the end of your ad. And I'll show you guys an example of what that looks like. These are great. You can get these from eBay. These are great for shipping out singles. Um, I personally, I put a lot of stock into these. So what this is, is a cardboard blank. Goes inside of an envelope like this. And you just stick the label right there on the back side. So super easy, got those up top. These are some of the breaks we have coming up. That's a big camera I used to use, my boy, Patty Mahomes. You need some sort of a PC. I'll show you guys my other area. I've got a laptop as well, but you can see, you know, right here, I'm going through stuff that's either gonna go up on eBay or I'm gonna take over to uh, whatnot, one of the next breaks. But yeah, this is the mess that is my life. <laughs> so, those are the things you need. Um, I'll put links in the description, but the main things that you need, some form of a printer, you, you just need the bubble mailers and then something for your dollar mailers. And the other things that I use to ship, man, blue tape. Don't forget blue tape, huge win, blue tape. I love these personally. If you're gonna ship several cards, I put them in graded card sleeves, right? So anytime we're shipping multiple things, I put them in a graded card sleeve, and this is what it ends up looking like. Real nice and clean, top loaders on the outsides, put the person's name on there. A lot of times I'll slip in a business card. The other thing you can use for smaller items or for singles is actually just resealable team bags. These are 100 pack each, typically anywhere between like three and five bucks. Very inexpensive. You're talking pennies, right? But definitely worth it. Um, the other thing I keep around is cardboard blanks. So easy to grab a cardboard blank, throw it in um, to protect the cards. Because anytime you're shipping, if you can put a little cardboard in there, it'll protect them up. Kind of like I'm doing with these. These will go out in shipping today. So I got cardboard in between each. I'll wrap a piece of cardboard around the outside and then ship it as is. So nice and safe. What's up guys, I've been talking about this for a while. First of all, welcome to where the magic happens. Okay, all jokes aside, I am working out of the bedroom today. Uh, I set up this nice little space here. 
I showed you guys earlier the Fujitsu. Uh, I'm super excited to kind of show you guys the first step. There is an AI portion of this process as well, which I have not figured out, but I was so excited about this. I wanted to share. So you slide the cards in the top. I've tweaked everything so this thing's working. Come check this out. So it's called Paper Stream Click, <laughs> click Scan. And check this out. We're going to push go. Check that out right there. Come on, baby. Run. Oh, son of a gun. I don't have it set right. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Look at that, baby. You just have to give it enough to work and grab the first one. I mean, it's insane. <laughs> so real quick, just to show you guys, look. Card comes out fine. It does sometimes bend the uh, the penny sleeve itself, but just to show you guys, okay, the card is in good shape. The card is fine, right? The penny sleeve sometimes gets snagged, but that's just the penny sleeve itself. Now check this out. You come over here, you click finish, and look at that, just like that, two sides. Now that's an error, so I have to kind of figure out if that's important to me or not, but you can see most of them don't have that, right? But What's going on, guys? Real quick, Editor Josh. Uh, I know this video was a little disjointed. I hope the information is what you're, you're looking for, and I hope you get it from it. Uh, if you guys have questions, uh, I'm going to close out the video with the video that I shot to close it out. But I just want to let you guys know, if you have questions, drop, drop them in the links. Sorry, drop them in the comments. I'll respond to them, okay? If you guys are looking for more information, if there's something else you want to know, let me know. Eventually, I need to create like a complete video if you're starting today. You know, if, you, if you're already moving, you want to get better, or if you want to kind of take it to the $1,000 scanner level, which you can get them for a little less, but, you know, th that thing goes, and it goes hard. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just, just drop them in the description. If you guys haven't, drop us a, su a sub. We appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Helps us a ton, believe me. It, it lets me know that what I'm putting out matters, I guess, as well, which is great. And if you guys have any other questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Again, I'm here to help. I want to make sure that people get what they need. So see you guys soon. Check out the rest of the video. All right, guys. So just a, a quick tutorial. Give you guys some basic uh, answers. Again, links are in the description. So if you guys are curious, uh, you want to know where to get that. Oh, I also forgot. I apologize. Uh, it's worth getting a stand. Sorry, a weight. Uh, but you can get something really inexpensive. I, I got the Rolo with the Rolo because I just felt like it was a good idea at the time. But realistically, you can use one that you would use to like measure stuff for the kitchen. I mean, it just doesn't even matter. Get yourself a little $20 scale, nothing crazy. But if you guys have any questions, drop a comment. I'm here to help. Man, we, we ship out hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of product every couple of months. So uh, if we can help out in any way, let us know. Bunch of the brake product there in the background. Um, great investors, we're here to help. Brakes, we, we send cards into PSA. So if you guys have any questions, reach out.